know, like in Memphis, it was the season low. What what kind of was going on there in terms of what um, wasn't executing well. Um, was taking care of the ball. Uh, there was a lot of shots that we usually make that we wasn't able to make them. Uh, transi our transition defense wasn't um, as good. Uh, we didn't uh, rebound the ball. They had like nine of us rebounds, uh, which we knew coming to this game that they're going to do that. Uh, um, well, we just had. You know, we just had bad first quarter, bad, uh, uh, not a bad day, average second quarter that put us like really behind in, in the game. And uh, but at the end of the day, I gotta commend my my teammates for uh, not giving up and you know fighting through the whole game and trying to come back to the game. And we had chances that we, we got close, um, but you know the ball did not go our way. But at the end of the day, obviously, we had the bad first half that put us behind for the whole game, and we were chasing the whole game. You know, uh, they were playing good, they were making shots, they were getting the paint, shooting floaters, they was rebounding the ball, they made a couple threes, they were they removed the ball, they were playing good. You know, uh, so we had a couple chances to get back in the game, but we we didn't. We didn't take advantage of it. I know you want to make the right play for your team. Did did you get a feel though that the right play? Was you being aggressive and trying to get and score points, frankly, to, to keep <coughs> the team connected? I was just uh, trying to be aggressive uh, as much as I can. Uh, I believe, uh, when I know that uh, when I'm aggressive, I can I can make the right play, I can make the right pass, I can get in the paint, um, I can just draw a lot of crowd, make a lot of attention, and then I just let my instincts take over and make the right pass. Uh, when I'm looking to pass, that's when things is just uh, not clicking. Uh, but uh, for me, I was just I was just trying to be aggressive. I was just trying to, you know, do anything to spark energy for the team. And uh, uh, from defense, from offense, from passing the ball, from anything I could, just to just give the team a little bit of energy, and maybe we can, you know, get back to the game. Um, so that was my mindset. I mean, you know this. You were as the game wore on. You're putting your head down and going right to the rim. Do you have to play that way when Chris is hurt and not out there? No. Uh, no. Even when Chris is out there, I still, you know. That's what I do. I try to get as many easy ones as I can. You know, that's part of my game. Uh, I scored a lot in the paint, but. Um, Obviously, when Chris is playing, it's uh, the game is a lot easier for everybody. You know, like we know that he's going to have the ball a lot in his hand. He's going to make a lot of decisions. He's going to make shots. Like he's one of our ball handlers. He's one of our decision makers. He's one of the guys that down the stretch, like when we need the shot, he's going to get the ball most most likely. So, so and it's a, he's a threat out there. Like people have to respect him. So when he's out there, it makes the game easier for Drew, Bobby, Bro, Grayson, me. Uh, but even when he's, you know, it's not out there, my game doesn't really change. I still try to be aggressive, try to make the right plays for my teammate, create for them open shots, uh, but try to get in the paint as much as I can. And, you know, when I'm open, I try to shoot with confidence, you know, I've uh, worked on it. And uh, that's my mindset. Like, my mindset doesn't change uh, when Chris is on the game or if it's not in the game, it's always the same. Try to, try to get in the paint and make plays for my team and myself. What do you think of the, the smaller lineup that Coach went with at the end of the half? You, you and Drew, obviously, but then Pat, Grace, and Tom, and Joe was in there. What does that allow you all to do? Um, it's good. I think we have uh, four shooters out there. Uh, and uh, it just, I think, creates uh, the other team to just have one, one big guy out there. Um, and uh, today was Jared Allen, uh, which is uh, is a great rim protector. But in other cases, he's going to be somebody that's not going to be as good as a rim protector as uh, him, and we're going to have advantage, you know, in getting the paint. And uh, when I, you know, draw that crowd, I can uh, create for my teammates. Defensively, it's uh, it's kind of hard. Um, obviously, you know, uh, the guards are switching uh, with one another. But for me, it's just. It's just hard because now I gotta, I gotta, uh, you know, go to the other hand and then uh, create for my team and then go to the defensive end and guard the pick and roll and 
get back, you know, get myself in position to rebound the ball and then go the other way. And it's hard. It, it, it takes a toll on your body, but um, but I think a, a lot of times when we have that lineup, we've got back in the game. You know, uh, we're able to get energy. Like we have shooters out there that can make plays. I can make plays, and we just move the ball, try to get open shots. And sometimes, like we, we get back in the game. No, or we are able to create a lead. So it's it's part of who we are, and uh, we we getting better better at it uh, as we as the games go go on. You had a, I mean, Jared Allen. You know, you two were kind of going back and forth in terms of guarding each other, right? And he had a dunk on you, then you had a dunk on him, and I think there was like a slight exchange. I'm just wondering how much you believe in giving respect where respect is due, and how much people then probably reciprocate always. that to you. Always, always. Um, Respect the game. Uh, respect, respect my opponents. Um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go out there and try to play as hard as I can. You know, um, you know, and uh, try to win games. But at the end of the day, you know, I respect. I try to respect them as much as I, as I can. Um, not too much. Uh, not in a in a place that doesn't allow me to be who I am and not be aggressive and uh, try to. Uh, you know, be physical, but at the end of the day, like hey, he had the he had a good play uh, on me, um, but I was able to get him back, and you know, we were going back on defense, and uh, I told him I got you back. And he laughed. He was like, I got you too. I was like, Yeah, I got you too. You know, we just <laughs> keep going back and back and forth. But I, I I love that. You know, he's not he's not he's not backing down. Uh, I'm not backing down, and it's. Uh, He's a great, he's a great uh, player, a great teammate. Um, loves the, to play the game of basketball, and uh, I respect that. But whenever I, uh, you know, I am on the court, the court with him, I try to go at him, and he's tried to go at me as well. So I respect that. Giannis, this is your third time facing Cleveland. How dangerous is this team going to be <coughs> a couple months down the line, come playoff time? Very, very dangerous. I have a great players, great system. They know how to play the game. They defend really well. Um, if they stay healthy, they're going to be a really good team. Man. I don't see the reason now why not to be in the playoffs and you know have a good run. Hopefully not against us, but uh, <laughs> but no, we you got to respect the team. They have a pretty good team. They have uh, Garland. They have Donovan Mitchell. They have great shot blockers. They have great shooters. They have defenders. You know they have a great coach. They have great fans. You know so. You you have to you know you have to be careful, you know you cannot take them lightly. They're not the same team uh, that was two three years ago. They're a really good team, playoff team right now. And uh, if they get in the playoffs, you have to you know play with a sense of urgency if you play against them. Following up, how different are they at home now that you've seen them at home versus uh, your place in the? Uh, everybody's better at home. Everybody, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's natural. It's uh, your fans. You're comfortable. You sleep on your own bed. You see your family. You see your kids. You know. You know the route to the arena. You know. Um, you eat the same uh, pre-game meal. You know, like it's, it's just, um, it's just. You're more comfortable at home. You know, and when you go out there, uh, they're not booing you. They're cheering for you. So if you miss a shot, you're not feeling down by yourself. You go to the next one. So. I think every team it plays better at home, uh, but they're a really good team. We, they were we were playing in Milwaukee a couple weeks ago, and they were up 20 on us. You know, so on the road at home, they're a good team. You gotta play with them whenever you play them with a sense of urgency. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.